SimSpace helps leaders understand and assess their organizational risk through the lenses of people, process, and technology. Leveraging SimSpace's built-in cyber range capabilities, leaders can conduct readiness assessments, training exercises, attack simulations, and more to measure and grow their cybersecurity effectiveness. Ranges within SimSpace are designed to offer high-fidelity emulations of real network environments. They can be isolated from the internet or air-gapped with included gray space or a simulation internet environment, including an interactive network with real traffic that hosts real applications. This is also a place for red teams and automation to launch attacks. Moving in from the simulation internet, this specific template is designed to emulate a medium-sized business, including edge routing, a firewall, and DMZ, with common services like DNS, mail, and proxies, as well as realistic infrastructure service and a security subnet, including basic tooling like IDS and log aggregation, or SIM. In this case, additional user subnets are also tied to the environment through the distribution router. They have been staged with additional emulation software to breathe life into the network. Beyond simulated users, these offer a great place to deploy endpoint agents to monitor each host. While it's possible to build an entire range from scratch, range templates offer a variety of starting points and vary in size and complexity, from small 40-node ranges to robust 100-node ranges, and highly complex designs with thousands of networked, fully integrated systems. Customizing ranges starts with leveraging templates from our global catalog of infrastructure and security VMs, or you can upload your own to use within the platform. VMs can be added to the range using simple workflows to configure resources, allocations, networking, or apply advanced infrastructure automation scripts. User configurations for the host with the user emulation can be modified here as well. Choosing the correct user, choosing a traffic persona, adjusting the activity window, and allocating how user time is spent across common tasks. Now that we've built a range, let's talk about creating a live action event, running attack labs, assessments, and training the team. Every one of these systems in the topology diagram represents a live VM. These can be accessed by opening the console to interact. Here are some examples of four separate consoles providing a view into the user emulation as it creates emails, browses the web, engages social media, all while conducting assigned tasks. With the user emulation running in the background, it's time to prepare the environment with participants, objectives, roles, simulated adversaries, and attacks. Let's start with the event structure. Events provide a framework for a phased approach to execution, allowing teams to prepare their environments before activities begin. After an exercise is complete, you can conduct an assessment and after action review. Role-based access ensures that participants only have access to the tools they need to perform their duties while in the environment. Objectives allow organizers to establish clear goals, impactful challenges, and measurable results. Objectives are fully customizable, so you can focus on defensive or blue team goals, on offensive or red team goals, or facilitate a joint purple team goal. Each objective can be linked to automated attack scenarios for assessment and scoring later. Focus can be brought to specific key terrain or elements of the confidentiality, integrity, and availability triad. Automated attack scenarios can be selected from a catalog of threats that mimic actual tactics, techniques, and procedures of named threat actors and can align with current events and provide a generic representation of sophisticated threats. Attacks can be profiled for objectives and scenario duration, and event managers can schedule or launch these attacks to pair with training or assessment goals. Now that the range has been set up, the event's been organized with established objectives, including selected and scheduled automated attacks. It's time for the blue team to take their places. Organizations can leverage hunt tool templates like the Mandiant Flare VM or bring their tools into the range for added realism or rehearsal. Blue teams can monitor the environment from their hunt machines, while event managers or red teams kick off their attacks. The Threat Actions Tool Wizard provides a dashboard for the event manager to launch attacks and monitor attacks in progress. Each attack provides a step-by-step -step breakdown of underlying procedures. 
This creates a structure for defenders to respond to all aspects of the automated threats while mapping their efforts, process, and countermeasures to the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Now, the user can launch the scenario from the Threat Actions dashboard and watch the attack unfold in real time. The SimSpace Automated Red System selects their targets based on key cyber terrain criteria and actively seeks out the systems with sensitive data or pre-tagged scenario value. Event logs provide technical details of each attack. The network impact map visualizes the attacks as they take place. In this attack, a spear phishing email has been sent with an attachment. A user on the target system has opened the attachment and allowed the attacker to gain persistence. Once launched, the impact map keeps a record of each scenario. Here's a more complex attack using lateral movement to search for and exfiltrate data. Each of these attacks get mapped to the MITRE ATT&CK framework, which helps teams to identify gaps or improve specific processes or countermeasures. Blue team members can leverage the Defender Log Ticketing System to track their observations, open cases, and launch response and remediation efforts. As tickets are added to the platform, they can be tagged to the threat actions, enabling event managers, leadership, and assessors to evaluate things like the time it takes a team to identify an attack or the effectiveness of a team response. The platform automates the assessment of objectives versus the defender's ability to prevent or disrupt attacks launched during the event. Manual interpretation of events allows assessors to adjust and validate the results with threat actions, event logs, and defender logs. This gives the red and blue teams an opportunity to effectively rehearse, train, and improve their process, and identify gaps while leveraging the data collected to enhance future training endeavors. We hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the SimSpace Cyber Range and live action events.